YouTube, it's me, it's your knife on Captain.com, and it's been a few days since I've been able to get to do a video, but we have another awesome one for you today, and today we're going to be checking out one here, as you can see, called iTransfer. Now, iTransfer will let allow you to transfer things to and from your iOS device to your I, uh, Android device and do much, much more. But first thing you can see here on the screen, I've gone ahead and downloaded it. And as you can see, it's showing that I am not connected. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in my device so it will begin to pick it up. And then we will show you what it is it does. Now, as you can see, I have plugged it in, and we have a pop-up here from iTunes, and we'll do that later, but I'll go ahead and close that out. As you can see here, though, it's showing my iDevice on there, and some of the things you can do, you can rebuild your iTunes library, which is an amazing thing to do, long list of songs or videos or things like that, and it keeps wanting me to update all this stuff, and I do apologize that these pop-ups keep coming up. But as you can see, that's just part of this software where I have something else that they have uh, installed here from this company. And this is a remarkable company. If you have any problems, they'll get right to you. But go, going through here, the top of the screen, you can see it pulls up all the, the songs on your device uh, with the videos, photos, and the toolbox here. Here's where you can rebuild and transfer iTunes to iTunes to devices such as Android devices uh, or other phones or things like that or iPods here if you need to fix your iPod uh, something that maybe not it don't recognize or something in iTunes you can get help with that there but my favorite thing about this is is the way it allows you to uh, transfer items between devices that's what makes this so unique and right here you got phone to phone tra transfer that's what I was was getting at uh, it allows you to plug in two devices as you can see I get this pop-up here when I click that it says please connect at least two devices which I don't have an Android device to plug in nothing against Android personally I just don't really you know choose to use them but you can you can do things with podcasts and if you're wanting to add songs or something like that, you just simply click on a song you want, open it, and 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 then click the song you want. And just that quick, you can get that. But one of the remarkable things also is this deduplicate. Now, as you can see here, I don't have any duplicate music. But if you're like me, when you first started with iTunes, you probably had three of the same song. Every time you plug in your device, seems like it would it would download your library again and again and again. It used to do that back in the old days, and I was left with a whole lot of duplicates that I currently don't have on there now, thanks to this software. So if for no other reason, it's worth that. So be sure you can check that out, and you can check by album, genre, size, whatever it is you want to check by. Uh, it works the same thing with podcast. You can deduplicate podcast or uh, you can even go up here and go into uh, photos. And as you can see here, in the photos, you can choose favorites that you, if you want to transfer or even convert something into a GIF file. It allows you to do that. And, and under videos, you can do things with it, uh, with your music videos, uh, home videos, uh, TV shows, iTunes University, podcasts. As you can see, I have one podcast, but there's just so much remark so many remarkable things you can do with this. And even in here, in your apps, in in my app app library is is quite extensive. That's why it was taking it just a moment to open it up. I don't know how many exactly I have, but probably two between two and three hundred. I have a sixty-four gig phone, and I have like. 50 something of it used so you can choose in here to uninstall like if I if I wanted to uninstall HSN I just simply click uninstall and that quick it's gone so if you wanted to uninstall several at one time you could click all of these and then just come up here and click uninstall if you want if you wanted to export something you could do it the same way like I said guys this is a remarkable software and you can get it on their site 
and as you can see right here um, in the store let's go to their store here for some reason I thought that was the link that I was clicking on phone transfers $39.95 uh, I transfer right here we are it's $59.95 but I have spoken to the uh, owners and if you're interested in that hit me up on Facebook Twitter or some social media and I'll try to get you a download link or we'll try to put something in the description box below where you can get a discounted version so be sure to check it out I know you're gonna love it don't forget guys to keep checking back uh, and, and we'll get we'll get a re regular routine going here I am in the process of building a new home is the reason why I haven't been on Facebook or or YouTube or anything in the last six to eight months uh, keep it here we will be finished hopefully within the next couple of months and everything will be back on the regular schedule so just keep checking back and I look forward to seeing you soon don't forget to leave us a comment below and keep coming back